City leaders in Burlington announced new actions at improving safety in downtown, particularly the Church Street Marketplace. Let's go to ABC 22's Lily Sakaniwa, who was in Burlington earlier. She spoke with employees about how they're hoping to see these actions impact and improve business. Thanks, Lauren. The updated, safe, the updated public safety measure comes just in time for the holiday season and sees additional security and police presence in the downtown area and improved lighting in parking garages. Incidents surrounding gun violence, opioid addiction, and theft remain an issue in downtown Burlington. Jessica Johnson is the assistant manager at Harbor Thread on Church Street. She says she and other retailers face it every day. It's constant theft. I'm on a group um, with all the other like managers on Church Street Marketplace and that is like lighting up like a Christmas tree every single day. My phone like won't stop vibrating. In addition to updated security, Johnson says they keep mace at all the registers. Um, I'm talking with all the girls, keeping them updated on that chat. We're kind of training the girls on who to look out for um, and what the steps are if those individuals come in. Mayor Moreau Weinberger says public safety continues to be his top focus. He announced new public safety procedures, including additional downtown security, voluntary overtime shifts for members of the Burlington Police Department, and increased lighting in downtown parking garages. In previous years, we have had additional security on the street during the holidays. Um, I understand that given the current challenges in the downtown, that there's uh, a lot of interest generated right now about our security plans. Funding for these initiatives comes by way of a $50,000 grant from the American Rescue Plan Act with a match donation from the Palmer Lowe Family Foundation. Kara Almazrawi, Director of Business Workforce and Development, says while she knows these initiatives aren't the only answer to the problems facing downtown Burlington, she hopes they give businesses and the public that extra level of comfort they're looking for. I think what our downtowns need right now is our support. Shopping locally is way, way more important than I think a lot of people realize. Aside from the new safety measures, talks are still in the works for Burlington's Downtown Ambassador Program. The Burlington Business Association says there is funding there, but at this point, the program is still a no-go. For now, live in the newsroom, Lily Sakaniwa, ABC 22 News.